This video explains how to calculate the sum by group in a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. For this video, we first need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor, as you can see in the next lines of code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And this data frame contains four columns, whereby the first two columns x1 and x2 contain numeric values, and the third and fourth columns group 1 and group 2 are group indicators. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the sum for each column and each group in the group indicator group 1. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in this line of code I'm applying the group by function. Within this function I'm specifying our group indicator group 1. And then I'm applying the sum function to calculate the sum by group. So as you can see below this code, a new output is returned, which shows the sum for both of our numeric columns x1 and x2 by group. So for instance, the sum of the group A in the column x1 is equal to 10. We can also calculate the sum based on multiple group columns, as you can see in the next line of code. So in this line of code, I'm using once again the group by function. And within this function, I'm specifying a list that contains the two column names of our two group indicators. So in this case, our two group indicators are called group 1 and group 2. And then once again, I'm applying the sum function to this. So after running this line of code, another output is created, which shows the sum for each subgroup. So as you can see, for instance, the sum of the subgroup A and a is equal to 2 in the column x1 and equal to 25 in the column x2. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.